everyone. I am Pipe Patch, and welcome back to the Red Strings Club. We're checking out this this cool group of folks over here. What are you all doing? So, which one's Vega? I need to know for the voice. So, so I oh, know I need a different different voice. Who's talking? So, social psyche welfare is some sort of digital happy pill, and the mirror neuron algorithm is supposed to spread it, even among non-implant users. What kind of voodoo is that? Beats me. Donovan is looking into it. We're pretty much fucked. Supercontinent's private network is inaccessible from the outside. And their tower isn't the kind of place you can just walk into precisely. You left us with a nice farewell present, eh, Ariadne? She's gonna enjoy all this. Always loved the hustle of that punk. Yeah. Shall we perform the last rites? Sure. You guys want me in on this? I'm not even part of Proxima. For some reason, Ariadne's chosen you as one of her digital heirs, so... Just accept her, Brandeis. She shall live through us. Okay, I'll go first. Oh, you're Vega. Ariadne, I'll have your empathy. Let me better read our enemies' souls. Let me better understand our allies' passions. Whoa. Ariadne, I'll have your wits. Allow me to outsmart our foes. Help me survive on the field. Ariadne... Hmm, knowledge or determination? <sighs> I think knowledge. I'll have your knowledge. Oh, I hope you. I hope you don't regret this, dude. Can you be a bit more poetic? And look as corny as you two? No way. Ha ha ha. Okay, release her into the ocean now. Goodbye, warrior. Mm, it's sad. Donovan? Hey, Brandeis, uh, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm about to open shop. <laughs> yeah, Akara's doing great. You gotta see them. They even, they even designed a little game for us to play between clients. Come on, don't be jealous. You can play with us when you get back. Did you find anything useful? Wow, you sure work fast. And when is the security breach happening? Tomorrow? I just started gathering info, we need more time. You sure there won't be another opportunity? Oh shit. Yeah, you need to do us a favor then. Oh. Investigate the CEO. Yeah. Dana was pretty worried about the supercontinent CEO. She was genuinely frightened, I'm telling you. Diana, Diana has this crazy theory that the company's current CEO isn't Jack B. Gaynor anymore. She's not a lunatic, man. As she pointed out, Jack hasn't appeared in public at all over the last two years. I think we're sitting on a gigantic pile of dirt here. So please, dig into it. Donovan, someone's approaching the bar. Gotta go. Take care. Bye. Why the alarm? Who is it? Oh, shit. Hello? Uh, yeah, hey. Ghost. I heard you craft drinks based on emotions. You heard right. I've also heard you deal with information. You seem to be well informed. I happen to be the dealer of sorts myself. I can get you whatever you wish for. There's only one rule. No weapons, no living beings. I also happen to be thirsty as hell. 
So I thought we could be great business partners, you and I, Donovan. What do you say? Hmm. I'm pretty confident I can quench that thirst of yours. As long as you accept information as payment, I could really use an exotic supplier. Sure. Don't worry about the details. Money is overrated in this city anyway. Let's take care of my thirst first, shall we? Right on it. I don't like this person. Uh, uh, okay. I'm nervous about this one, Donovan. Touch more. And then up. Go up. Faulty. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get this one, am I? Mm, it looks like our regular bartending tending won't do here. We're going to need this. This is the shaker. With it, we can combine two or more spirits to obtain a powerful mix. The resultant blend will have the combined effects of its ingredients. For example, if bourbon moves the soil disc up and tequila moves it right, the resultant combination will move the soil disc diagonally towards the upper right. That way, you can achieve the same results using half the amount of the spirits. That leaves extra space in the glass to explore new, otherwise unreachable emotions. To use the shaker, just pour whatever you want inside it. Then grab it and shake it up and down until the spirit's colors merge. Wait, so should I tip this out? And... Oh, I see. About there? Shake, 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 shake. Oh. Shake, 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 shake. Oh wait, I lost a heap of it. <laughs> Shake, 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 shake. Okay, so can I see what, what does this do? Okay. Shake, 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 shake. Mm, just a touch more. Oh, shit, too much. Can I... Can I... Touch more then. Ay, shit. Just a... just a... Oh, uh, okay, let's try... Oh, shit. Okay, oh no, we're really gonna need a... <sighs> okay, there we go. Whew. Serve it up. Uh, excuse me? Alright. Mmm, this flavor. So the legends are true. You are able to sink the customer's emotions with your cocktails. Can you tell? Yeah, mm, cut from a different cloth than the rest of you mortals. I'm sorry, what? But don't sweat it. Your secret's safe with me. Hmm, okay. As long as you enjoy your drink, I'm happy. Be happy then, because I haven't had a drink this good in years. In ages, sorry. Good. How can I help you? Did you have something in mind for this partnership of ours? For now, let's say I'm interested in backing your crusade against Supercontinent. So, let me know if I can get you anything you need. Hmm. You said you can get anything? Yes. As long as it isn't alive, I don't do weapons either. Do you do liquors? <laughs> no one's ever sent me for booze, but sure, can do. These liquors I need aren't your regular spirits. Red Secret and Blue Whisper. My master, previous owner of the Red Strings Club, had a couple of bottles. But I haven't been able to get any more since those ran dry. I could work wonders with them. Sounds like an interesting endeavor. Consider it done. I'll be back with your stuff. Thanks for the drink. See you later, Donovan. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was a bit intense. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. That guy psychicked that glass into his hand. 
uh, quiz time then? No, thank God, because I was not I was not paying attention. He walked in the room and I completely forgot everything. No? I... I can't. I was unable to read the subject. Who is he? Oh, looks like you're not omnipotent after all. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It puts me at ease, to be honest. Why? I find flaws to be a quick shortcut to empathy. Virtue begets admiration, sure. But a weakness here and there draws compassion and sympathy. No one likes a know it all. I like this guy, he's cool. I see. I'll try to fail more often so you can feel more comfortable. N no, that wasn't the point. Just be yourself. I like you already, okay? To be myself. Don't overthink it. You can't be anyone else. Okay. I'm still curious. Who is he? Hmm. This is my first time meeting him in person, but I've heard of him before. None of my contacts traded with him directly, but we'd all heard the legends. A bizarre smuggler who can get you anything you want in less than 24 hours. They call him Ghost. He never asked for money. Or was it, it was a ghost? It's probably Ghost, isn't it? They just spell in it weird for fun? We'll call him Ghost. Oh, but, but, whatever. Although clients, he never asks for money, although clients always pay. Aren't you afraid? I can't say I'm not, as I'm sure your empathic devices have already told you. On the other hand, Ghost is not the only supernatural dealer around. I detect a client approaching the club. Background check? Larissa Robliard, age 29, marketing director at Supercontinent. Oh, nice. It looks like we hit the jackpot. Do you know her? She's one of the wildest night beasts a neon has ever witnessed. Oh. If you run a club like if you run a club in this city, you're fated to meet her. Oh. Hi, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Red Strings Club. <laughs> nice start. I love you. <sighs> Me too, Larissa. I missed you. It's been five days since your last visit. How cute. Did you actually count the days? Like every bartender in this town. I'm sorry I haven't been here sooner, Donnie. It's been a hectic week at work. Haven't set foot in a bar in three days already. And I've heard many of my colleagues have been visiting the Red Strings Club of late. So unfair. I came here as soon as I finished tying up loose ends at the office. <laughs> well, I may have to rebrand if my only clientele are going to be court breed bastards. Please don't. This is one of the few real places left to have a drink in this city. Although, if you actually rebrand, you have my card, right? You never miss an opportunity. I just love my job. Do you have any of this of my stuff left? I'm fully stocked on your stuff. Oh? Like a cigar? Oh. I sense you're a bit anxious. We're old friends, Donnie. You can cut out you can cut to the chase and tell me what it is I can do for you. Um, can't hide a thing from you, can I? The matter is quite delicate, though. Closely related to your recent projects. I see. That explains why Diana and Naima came here yesterday. One day you'll have to explain to me how you can pull so you can how you pull so many strings without leaving the counter. I've told you a hundred times. This club is haunted. I'm a prisoner of the red strings. But in exchange, the club somehow weaves fate to please my desires. Can you really not leave? Because that's kind of cool. You won't ever stop spouting that mystic crap, huh? Gotta admit, it's great for marketing, though. Building your own urban legend. Laugh all you want. At least, uh, at least acknowledge my cocktails to pack some magic. That's undeniable, yes. 
You always make me feel things no other man ever draws out of me. But I'll ascribe that to your charisma. Are you in the mood to share some intel with me then? Oh, I'm absolutely in the mood. However, you're right that this is quite the delicate matter. So, why don't we spice things up a little? I love to see your magic at work. But you always end up getting me horny and I spill everything you want and I spill everything you want and you want to know. Oh, okay, well she's really just putting it all out on the table, isn't she? Okay. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. So, here's the deal. You can ask me whatever you want, but before each question, you have to serve me a drink. Before each one, and you can't repeat cocktails, okay? Sure, sounds fun. Fantastic. Now, please, I've been sober far too long. Make me a drink. Whew, okay. Hmm, euphoria, depression, madness. Here we go, euphoria, then lust, then madness, then de Oh, we go lust, euphoria, madness, depression? Yeah, so let's go this one first. Get that over with. Okay. Hopefully that'll do it. Ice. One more. Ice. There we go. Okay, so this is the last one. <laughs> ah, you've actually done it, you sensual son of a bitch. Did what? Don't play coy with me, it only makes it worse. Now, you got me all- oh shit. Okay. She is very blunt. Now you got me all wet, so either ask me a question or fuck me already. Okay, ma'am. Whoa, I'm just trying to do my job. Christ. <sighs> okay, here we go. How are you going to convince me to s- oh. Have you met Supercontinent's new CEO? Or any marketing ideas for the new Kara androids? Actually, let's got that one. Any marketing ideas for the Hakara androids? Oh, so you know them. Haven't seen them live yet, but I've seen some concepts. They're pretty cool with this girlish body type. Very much elect to your aid there. Yeah, don't don't look at them too closely. I'm sorry, but I'm not a robot. <laughs> That's exactly what a robot would say if robots could lie. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 Ahem, so, do you know what Supercondon plans to do with them, or...? Oh, you're so damn cute with all those innocent questions dripping with poison. Talk about poison, master of backhanded compliments. I'm not very familiar with the plans for Akara, my hands have been full with SPW. But I've heard they're planning to make them available for hire to some businesses. Oh, really? Yeah, like putting them to work at health resorts, taking care of clients, or don't be afraid as luxury bartenders. Gulp. Oh, and someone pitched this interesting one. Since they're specialized in counseling, hiring them to work as managers in human resources. Hey, got a- oh, Supercon and plans to make a car available to the public, hmm. Hey, gotta say, that doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. Yeah, for once, you consent to one of Supercontinent's plans. Yep, sounds cool. Okay, another drink then? Yes, but wait, wanted to tell you more. This is new, someone begging an information broker to let them give more. I just feel like helping you, you handsome son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, what is it? Do you know Dr. Edgar Coldstream? Please, tell me more. I've heard of him, yes. Do you know him? Yeah, he's a great guy. He happens to be the creator of Akara. I think you two should meet. Sounds like someone I'd love to meet, alright. I'll tell him to come by. He'd love a club like this. Cool to know. Larissa will tell Edgar Coldstream you want to meet him. Cool. Great. Serve me another drink before I keep giving away free secrets. Sure thing, you've earned it. Okay, so maybe Euphoria next? I feel like that's a yeah, natural progression. Okay, so we're going Okay. 
Oh, beautiful. Look at that. And ice. One more ice. Okay. Serve it up, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ, Larissa, calm down. Holy fucking yes. You like it? This is the best fucking drink I've ever had in my life. Ah, I love you, Donnie. I love you so much. Okay. I would I would yell this out, but I'm recording at nighttime and I don't want to freak my neighbors out. Love you too, my goddess of fun. Okay, shoot, before this beautiful rush vanishes. How are you going to convince people to swallow SPW and when? Yeah. How are you going to convince people to swallow SPW and when? Whoa, social psyche welfare. I knew you were sticking your snout in this, being all friendly with Diana and Naima. It's a pretty serious matter to me, Larissa. I understand. You can't wait, right? I... But don't you worry. It's about to be released just in a couple of weeks. Oh, SPW will become 100% operational in two weeks. Completed. When do they plan to execute SPW? Nice. Marketing is going to be huge. Okay. So we're going to develop social psyche welfare. And to... Pro pro they plan to propagate it with the mirror neuron algorithm. Joanna Seftis is Supercontinent's chief operations officer. And she's missing Adrian Ferguson. Okay. Interesting. Oh, Cute. That doesn't sound unprofessional to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, I accidentally clicked on that, did I? Oh, no. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, no. Damn. I forgot. I'm so sorry. You can't wear implants. That's so insensitive of me. But you should be happy for Brandeis. Okay, I'm going to serve you another drink before I kick you out of the club. Yeah, good idea. She... Oof. Ooh. Hopefully that'll do it. Let's try some ice. Oh, no. Okay. We need a little less. Okay. Beautiful. Serve it. What an arresting drink. Makes me think of how we identify with our clothes and words. But they're not quite us as an identity. Moreover, in the same way we're not our dress, we're not our feet or our belly buttons. We're not any of those particularities, but the sum of them. Uh... Wait, here comes the mind blow. The same way my shoes aren't me, other people aren't me either. Uh-huh. I mean, you, Donnie, clearly aren't me, right? Um, right? So, if shoes, dress, toes, and lipstick aren't me, but in some way together they are, we could say that in some way you're me too, no? This state is going to be tricky to deal with. But maybe with the proper questions I can fish some juicy info out of the philosophic noise. Where should I direct this madness? Um, I think the CEO, because that feels like kind of con a conspiracy, so maybe we can pull something out of that. Have you met Supercontinent's new CEO? Many witches in the past have used mirrors and balls for scrying, but I tell you, Fate Mansa, the best future in which to spy the future? <sighs> is one of your cocktails. And what do you see? A woman. A very capable one. Formidable and terrible. The world, in awe, will chant her true name. Radica. Oh. But she's not ready to ascend to power yet. Shadows are nurturing her might. The future of this world and the next rest in her teenage hands. Teenage? Hmm, sounds quite crazy, but I feel like the name might be right at least. I'll write it down. Supercontinent CEO is called Radica. Thank you, mistress of future events. Let me serve you another drink. 
Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, beautiful. Serve it right up. <laughs> End on some depression. <sighs> Why can't you just stick to beautiful feelings, Donnie? Sadness isn't ugly, Larissa. I love all the melancholy you hide under that glittering veneer. It's incredibly beautiful, like meeting your raw self. You know, you're the only person that's seen me cry since I was a teen, right? And I feel very fortunate you allowed me to witness such a tender sight. Ah, quit smooth talking me and ask me something already. I need to wash out this feeling with another drink. Are you aware of the Joanna Sefter situation? Ugh, yes. Poor Joanna. I guess you're celebrating she's lost it, aren't you? Oh. I would never rejoice in personal misery. I despise corporations, not people. Hell, I even despise Proxima, but Ariadne was my friend. Who? Never mind. The thing is that no, I don't like people suffering, no matter their beliefs. What's happening? Is it that grave? Joanna broke down out of stress. She's turned into this kind of hippie zen master, I don't know. No one's found her location yet, but she's been sending emails and making phone calls to me and my colleagues, telling us about the wonders of life and embracing a new philosophy. Oh my God, she was the she was that woman that that Akara traded last ep uh, two episodes ago. She's got this plan to turn Supercon into a, into a full charity project. She's very displeased with Supercontinent's new direction, and she believes we should all be taking it slower and be investing more time into establishing dialogues with our customers. Wow. Most of the calls end up with her crying over the phone, saying she's sorry that she'll never atone for what she'd done at Supercontinent. And here it takes a dark turn. If she doesn't manage to make us change, she's probably going to end her life. Oh my god. I, I, I guess that was, that was something that was mentioned in that earlier scene with Akara. Like, we hope, we hope she can handle it. Because, yeah. Unable to bear the guilt. Okay, that girl needs help. Yeah. Damn. If I get a lead on her location, I'll let you know as soon as possible. Thank you. I really appreciate it. No problem. Another drink? Please. No, you know what? No more drinks. You've completely killed my buzz here. I need to go out of here and get some air. Can't have you ruining my first night out in three days. Ah, okay, sorry. So, may oh, maybe we could have gotten more than if we had le ended on something other than the depression. But I feel like we got lots of information out of that. I feel like I assigned the questions to the drinks correctly. Have fun out there. Goodbye. Thank you for coming. See you next time. They never say goodbye to Akara. Are you alright? I feel you're unusually agitated. <sighs> that girl is a tornado. I agree. My readings on her are off the charts. Would you like to take a quiz on Larissa? Whew, I feel like I paid attention a little bit better that time. This will be tough, but sure, I'm game. Okay, first question. Is she physically attracted to me? Yeah, she's physically attracted to me. <laughs> that wasn't the first question. Sorry, it, it was a joke. First question. What is Larissa's greatest passion? Oh, she loves her job. She did say that at the beginning. She loves her job. Does Larissa wear implants? I th yeah, I think she I think she does. Yeah. Does Larissa like Joanna Seftis? Yeah, yeah. Does Larissa agree with social psych welfare? Um well, well, yeah, she was she was super excited about it, wasn't she? 
Who is Larissa most loyal to? I think herself. Of all her emotions, what is Larissa? What is Larissa's prominent state? Oh, predominant state. Most of the time, I guess euphoria. Maybe depression. No. Maybe lust. Yeah, when she came, <laughs> let's 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 go with that. She did. She did seem a bit horny when she first came in. What spirit does Larissa enjoy the most? Oh, she liked tequila. Was it bourbon? Um, let's try tequila. Is Larissa a compassionate person? I think she is. Yeah. Would she be upset if you managed to stop SPW? And why? Um, yeah. Um, I think she cares about the marketing of it. Is marketing inherently evil? What the holy fuck? What's the matter? Do I strike you as a scholar in marketing ethics? Do you forfeit the question then? No, no, I'll give you my opinion, as always. Okay. Is marketing inherently evil? That's tough. I don't think the concept of marketing is necessarily inherently evil. Like, you can- or maybe that's advertising. You're allowed to advertise your stuff. But manip- I think it can be done ethically. But a lot of the time it's pushing it. It depends. Marketing can be done ethically. If you properly communicate what your product is about, yeah. Without abusing hyperbole or attaching the promise of happiness to it. Nothing wrong about visibility, right? From what I've scanned online so far, such hyperbole-free marketing you speak of is less than anecdotal. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And quite ineffective, I read. In addition, visibility is finite. So inevitably, marketing aims to suppress the competition, and not just that. Powerful marketing diminishes the existence of other media and products in general. It doesn't match with my definition of ethical to limit or cloud the public's opinions. You're saying that good marketing is always unethical then? Until I can gather more data on it, that's the conclusion I've reached. Honestly, that kind of makes sense. Like, for the level of, like, wide scale and permeating it needs to be, probably. Hmm. It, it, it's probably manipulative in some way. Interesting. Interesting topic. Hmm. I see. I'm curious. Do you spend all that time you're standing there thinking about the world? Isn't that what all people do? Yeah, but... You're doing so with a super brain and unlimited access to the internet. Feels a bit uncanny. What if, at some point, you reach the conclusion that humans are the world's worst problem and suddenly decide to kill me? Ah, yes. I've accessed a lot of literature and movies on that subject. You don't have to worry. I love you. Oh. Wow. That's really touching. Wow. Wasn't expecting to ever hear that from you. Is there a problem? No. I... I like you too. <laughs> um... What about the quiz results? You've answered 8 out of the 10 questions correctly. Yay! Ah, oh, wonderful. Congratulations, you won. Yay! What did I win? What did I win? <laughs> Not what, but who? I'm sorry? And he's about to come through the door. <gasps> Is it? Oh, I thought it was my boyfriend. That's fine. Welcome to the Red Strings Club. Whoa. Forward? <gasps> Whoa. Oh, uh, sir? I was not prepared for this energy. And I'm going to have to leave it till next episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, ooh, what a terrible cliffhanger. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I just, it's late. I need to go to bed now. I, oh, 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 you really call me off guard with that, off guard with that one, Irving the Third. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for hanging out with me. We'll see what's up with this guy next time. Whew. Um, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. Bye.